ada dua perkara ya yang yang tim, timbul lah, uh, dua perkara baru yang wujud. Satu ialah berhubung dengan uh, dalam bil ini satu dengan tentera ya iaitu rantaian perintah ataupun chain of command bahawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia yang di Pertuan Agong hendaklah menjadi pemerintah tertinggi angkatan tentera uh, persekutuan sebagaimana yang diperuntukkan di bawah perkara 41 uh, Federal Constitution yang ini telah diabaikan tambahan itu perkara 137 yang mengandungi peruntukan berkenaan Majlis Angkatan Tentera Perkara 150 berkenaan proklamasi darurat, darurat dan Akta Angkatan Tentera 1972 telah diabaikan. If you look at Perkara 137, which is Article 137, there you have a council, Armed Forces Council, specifically meant for the Armed Forces. They decide issues of command, administration, etc., etc., What is the answer of the government to Article 137? Why have they ignored Article 137 in this bill? We want these questions answered. And I believe the military is entitled to answers as well. How did this bill come into being without taking account of key constitutional provisions? So it is not only 150, It is also 137 and Article 41. And I think uh, uh, if you look at the Armed Forces Act, you will see Section 168, which also deals with issues of command. So here we think there is a serious... This bill, in our view, we are more convinced that this is an illegal bill. It is illegal. It is against so many provisions of the federal constitution and it's not workable. It is not workable. If you look at the definition of security forces, which includes the armed forces, this is not workable. Besok, uh, Ayu Dewan Negara kita okay. dan mantan uh, Ayu Dewan Negara, Kembangkan, uh, kita akan jumpa dengan uh, yang dipertua Dewan Negara, di mana besok 9.15, 9.15 kita akan jumpa dengan uh, yang dipertua Dewan Negara dan kita akan minta supaya rang undang-undang ini ditarik balik. That's the first step yang kita akan buat besok sebelum dibahaskan di Dewan.